Wine talks to Al Jazeera. One uh, commentator in Uganda said that in some ways, as unfortunate as this event was, it was almost your baptism. It's, it's, it's given you a higher profile. And they said now your supporters will be watching because of your profile. What's your next move? What do you do now? Well, we've always been wanting a free Uganda, but that free Uganda should not come at the cost of torture, should not come at the cost of murder or, you know, illegal executions. It should be got free because our generation feels like the price has always, uh, the price has already been paid. Now, I know you're planning to go back home in a few days' time. These treason charges are still outstanding. It seems to me that you're a marked man. Are you fearful about returning home? Well, I'll be honest, yes, I'm fearful as a person, but I don't have another country. Uganda is my country. So I either live in a dignified country or I be remembered as a Ugandan who died trying to make a better Uganda. You talk you're qualified to, to lead these people. Do you feel like you have what it takes to be a leader? I believe that everybody can play a role. I'm only trying to play a role as a person. I grew up from the ghetto and I was elevated by the common people, the Ugandans, that gave me this platform and that is why I'm talking to you today. So I believe that I can only play my role in its tiny position and by encouraging all the millions of Ugandans for each of them to keep playing their role. Robert Chalogani, thank you for talking to Al Jazeera. Thank you very much for having me.